Hey what's up, this is Tim with Tactics and today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean your bearings. All bearings eventually get full of dirt and gunk from being exposed to dusty skate parks and crusty spots. Regular maintenance is necessary for you to keep your bearings going fast. Usually you can solve your bearing problems by simply putting a little lube into the bearing and giving it a spin. But sometimes you're going to need to give them a deep clean to revive that fast smooth ride. It's a lot cheaper if you clean your bearings rather than just buying a new set, especially if you have more expensive bearings. Before you get started, you'll need to gather some supplies. First, you'll need a skate tool or a half inch wrench to take off the wheels. You could also use a monkey wrench or a vice grip. You'll need a sharp pointy tool for removing the shields. A razor blade works the best, but you can use a thumbtack or a safety pin. You'll need some kind of solvent cleaner, such as acetone or isopropyl rubbing alcohol. You'll also need some kind of container for the cleaner, preferably a smaller one with a lid so you can swish around the cleaning solution. The Bones Bearing Cleaning Kit is perfect for this. It's also a good idea to have some latex gloves so you don't get any chemicals on your hands. You'll need a paper towel for drying off the bearings. And lastly, you'll need some kind of lubricant. I'd recommend Bones' Speed Cream, but 3-in-1 oil, gun oil, and sewing machine oil works fine too. The first step is taking off the wheels. Take off the axle nuts and make sure you keep all the nuts and speed washers together so you don't lose any of them. Next, you have to take the bearings out of the wheels. Slide the wheel and bearing about a half inch onto the axle, then pry the bearing out using your wrist. This can be kind of hard depending on the wheels you have, but just keep at it and it'll come out eventually. Once you have all of the bearings out, you have to remove the bearing shields. This makes it easier for the solvent to rinse out all the dirt. Use your razor blade or your tack to get underneath the shield and pry it up. The razor can get under it pretty easily, but if you're using a tack, try to get under it from the inner race and it should pop out. Put all the shields with your axle nuts and washers just to keep everything together. If you have pressed in metal shields, then you won't be able to take them off, but it's still worth rinsing them in some solvent. Fill your small container with about one inch of cleaning solvent. Now's about the time to put on those gloves. Then drop the bearings in and swish them around. Solvents work great because they disintegrate grease, remove dirt, and evaporate on their own. If you're sketched out about using harsh chemicals, then you can use a citrus-based cleaner, but the bearings will have to be rinsed and dried thoroughly afterwards so it doesn't rust or leave any sticky residue. If you're using the Bones Bearing Cleaning Kit, open up the kit and remove the wing nut and spacers. Slide the bearings onto the metal rod with the exposed sides up and put the spacers between each bearing to leave some space for the solvent to wash into them. Screw the bottom wing nut back on and screw the cap on securely. Now shake the bottle vigorously for about 10 to 20 seconds. This will ensure that the cleaner gets through every little crevice in the bearings. Look at all that grime. That used to be in your bearings. Take the cap off and gently lay the bearings out onto a paper towel. To get the excess solvent out, smack the bearings on a paper towel with the exposed sides down. Don't spin the bearings to get the excess solvent out because you don't want that stuff flinging into your eyes or on your clothes. If there's still some visible gunk in the bearings, you can use an old toothbrush to really get in there and scrub it out. Let the solvent evaporate completely. Your bearings are clean now, but they still need some lubricant. Drip two to three drops of lube evenly into the bearing and give them a gentle spin to spread it evenly throughout the bearing. Don't use WD-40 to lube your bearings. WD-40 was developed to accelerate water evaporation and will leave your bearings bone dry after it evaporates away. Once all eight bearings are lubed up, put the shields back on. Just gently press down on the shield until it clicks back into place. All right, you've just finished cleaning your bearings. Let's put this thing back together and go skate. Put the first speed washer on and then put two bearings on the axle with the shields facing down. Put a wheel on top of the bearings, then press down on both sides of the wheel until the bearing slides into the slot. Don't forget the little speed washers and then put the axle nuts back on. Don't over tighten the axle nut be sure there's a tiny bit of wiggle room for the wheel to spin freely. Repeat these steps for the rest of the wheels and then you're done. Now that your bearings are nice and fast, let's go skate. If you got any questions or even tips of your own, leave them in the box down below or just give us a call and we'll help you out.